hey guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'll share with you guys how i prepare for a new week my braids are so old i'm going to take my braids out and also my skin has been acting up lately like i don't know what's going on but anyways guys i'm going to show you guys how i take out my braids um also i'll show you guys the products i use to wash my hair in this video and i'll also be doing a little bit of skincare routine nothing really serious so that's just basically what this video is about thank you guys for watching and do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't So guys i'm done with my hair um i'm going to take this hair for like a week 
before I go and get my hair braided. So this is how I'm going to like this will be on my head for like one week until I can go and braid my hair. I love this ponytail so much. Like this ponytail. Many people people used to ask me like is this ponytail your hair? Is this your real hair? It is not my real hair. It is a ponytail as you guys can see, but it was gifted to me. So I really do not know where um where the person that gifted it to me got it from and that was like a very long time ago so yeah guys um my face is so dry guys can you see my face my face is so dry and like i was trying to like press out black heads for my face and i ended up enjoying myself as you guys can see i enjoyed myself so yeah guys anyways um normally i will go in with my alpha skincare moisturizer but my lotion was so finished like this lotion eh? like i've been using it for quite some time and it has really really helped my skin like i'm seeing big changes using this lotion but it is going to finish very soon and the vendor that i buy it from they don't have it right now like it is out of stock so i'm trying to manage it so today i'm going to use my body oil instead and this body oil is from zussi organic skincare this is the um their luxury body oil i'm going to put um the link to this body oil in my description box so in case you all are interested but this is what i'm going to be using today i don't want to use my body lotion today because like i said i am managing it right now because they are out of stock so I'm going to use my body oil in state. So yeah. Guys, my arm has been a major problem for me because anytime I want to break out on my body, I always break out on my on my hand and like I've always had like I've had this spot on my hand since when I was in second secondary school. So like I've been finding it really hard to fade the spots, especially this big one. I've had it for years and these other ones are like over the years and this lotion has really helped me because honestly guys like this lotion has really helped me like it is helping me to fade the spot like i can see that um the spots are getting lighter because before the spots were very very dark compared to my skin tone but now the spots are getting lighter and there is no acne on my body like it's smooth now there is no um there is no pimple anymore i can notice really really big changes when it comes to my um comes to my arm because before i break out like crazy on my on my arm but now i don't break out anymore because now i know the causes of my body acne i know that when i eat too much oily food or when i'm not taking care of myself or when i use too much body oil like this body oil now that i've used like this is the first time this week that i am using a body oil because body oils can tend to like clog your pores so i don't use my body oils every day i just use it once in a while because i noticed like before i always used to use my lotion i was still going in body oil and i noticed that i was waking out so now i just only use my body oil once in a while so guys these are my face looking like um i don't know if it's only me but sometimes i feel like when like chemical exfoliation is really good but sometimes i feel like i need to use something on my face like something else on my face to like scrub my face because i know sugar scrubs are not good for the face because they tend to like um cause micro tears in your skin i'm sure you guys have heard people saying um do not use sugar scrubs on your face or do not use um salt scrub on your face because it can irritate your skin further i'm sure you guys have heard and it's actually true i was doing it before i think in 2020 but i'm no longer doing it anymore because obviously it can actually cause micro tears so but sometimes i feel like i still need like 
a physical exfoliator to like scrub my face because when i scrub my face with like a physical exfoliator i feel like my skin is more cleaner than when i use a chemical exfoliator which is not true but my like i just feel like i need to scrub my face and obviously i'm not going to use a sugar or a salt scrub i'm going to use a um a natural ingredient i'm going to use my oatmeal i love to do like oatmeal facial marks like before i was really consistent but now laziness like laziness but i want to do it today so i can scrub my skin because my skin has been acting up lately so i want to like do the oatmeal scrub and then scrub my face with it because oatmeal doesn't have any sugar neither does it have any salt it is just a natural exfoliator very mild on the skin and it helps your skin to become fresher and waking up um wakens up your skin and it's just very good for the skin shower like it's something that people should do once in a while let's go to the kitchen and let's make that oatmeal max so guys for this oatmeal scrub i'm going to be using one tablespoon of oatmeal and um one teaspoon of coffee the reason why i'm using coffee is because coffee is packed with lots of antioxidants and it also helps to fight damage caused by free radicals so i went ahead to mix the coffee and the oatmeal together using some water and then i applied the paste on my face you want to make sure the paste dries up on your face before you go ahead and exfoliate with it so i let it sit on my face for like 30 to 45 minutes until everything became dried before i went ahead to exfoliate my face with it So guys as you can see the mixture is all dried up um on my face so i went ahead to scrub my face but i made my my hands a little bit wet and then i went ahead to you know scrub my face with the mixture because it is dried and you know just gently exfoliate your face with it it is not like a sugar or a salt scrub that is going to irritate your skin um it is just mild on the skin so this was what i used on my face and i later went ahead to um wash my face rinse my face and then i applied my toner on my skin um i've showed you guys this toner before this huge niacin brightening toner it is a korean skincare product it is really nice i've been using it for quite some time now although i don't use it every day so um this was what i used on my face after washing my face and then um i you know put it on my face and you know pat it into my skin and then i used a cotton wool to clean out the excess and it was already evening at this point so this was how i went to bed i really didn't do anything after this after this toner i just went to like have dinner and then i went straight to bed <laughs> so that's what i did thank you guys so much for watching this video today do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one bye